icon to stay updated with the latest. Shalom, Yashar Allah, peace be unto the nation of Israel, who modern modern day so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and speck of our Israelites, being the Israelite foreigners, scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon the Great, the main place for our captivity. We are the most high Yahweh chosen people of the nation of Israel. So without further ado, as always, in the pale of Hebrew, meaning the ancient Hebrew, I'm going to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is the God of the living. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barach, Rosh, which is our praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, who is our strength and our Redeemer and our light and our salvation. And um, in the same tongue, my other Mashanah, Kabawadim, Lahasakwanim, Shal, Gadarabakab, many double honors to the apostles and elder bishops, Great Millstone, the men of one West, whose labors we have entered into. May Shalom, honor and salutation to, to uh, Bayah Shadawada, the 144,000 elect governing body of the House of David, along with the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. So, fellow servant Malak Rayab, I would a uh, very quick in transit update on this uh, Hama Godwan uh, 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 war, modernly known as World War III, prophesied in uh, Revelation 11 and 14, and so forth. So, uh, it's a very quick update on the whole uh, uh, regional conflict over there in West Asia, modernly known as the Middle East. 
uh, regarding the fact that uh, uh, Amalek, uh, through the IDF in support of the U.S. and uh, NATO, are targeting, um, have, you know, uh, the leadership of the Dragons of Arabia, the so-called Muslim nations, prophesied to band together against the modern-day Assyrian Empire, the bloody nation of America, in uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. You know, so um, you can see in that first clip that was played, you know, there was Iraqi uh, civilians that were weeping, um, you know, Iraqi leadership specifically weeping over uh, uh, the former Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah's death. And then uh, in the midst of that, in the midst of them weeping, you know, um, there were Israeli citizens that had stormed a U.S. embassy down there in Baghdad in Iraq. OK. So this, this is, you know, and then as you can see here, uh, the U.S. military has started withdrawing, um, you know, their troops from Iraq, okay? The same reason why, you know, it was, uh, give, hold on, let me give it a stupid ass ad in one second. All right. But uh, anyway, uh, the same reason why, um, as you can see here, uh, Reuters says exclusive Iran supreme leader taken to secure location, so to say, okay? Why is that? Because, you know, uh, Amalek, all right, is targeting the leadership of the Dragons of Arabia, including uh, the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. So they're, they're hiding him. Just That's why um, it had come out, and it came out that Nasrallah had been hiding all these years because he knew that, um, that Amalek was after him, all right? case in point matter of fact you know there's a little article that says that for the sake of time i'm not gonna really go into it but you know um you know you know anyway i'm, I'm going to segue over to this article and uh it says it's on bbc news which has been updated because it's a live update it says israel strikes houthis in yemen after targeting hezbollah stronghold in Lebanon so that there can now there you know Amalek is uh, t uh, uh continuing to target uh the other uh Iranian proxy down there in uh Yemen okay against the Houthis okay but I'm gonna jump just straight down to the point because uh get straight down to the point um uh, bring out this information here yeah it says the, the the IDF spokesman Daniel Hagari had just given a televised address after Hassan Nasrallah's death was confirmed by both Hezbollah and the IDF, all right? And, um, you know, in, in, uh, you know, you had uh, Bibi, Benjamin, uh, what's this, this devil's name? Or let's get his real name, all right? Because he's really Polish. Uh, Benjamin Milikowski, that's his real name. It's not Netanyahu, it's Benjamin Milikowski. Oh, he's Polish, okay? A damn fraud. And uh, during his speech during the United Nations Council, he's spewing all this carnal rhetoric and madness about how the world is, uh, you know, uh, against against them and, and, and uh, it's them against the world. And, you know, really come in the spirit of throwing a rock and hiding in their hand. And these nations are getting tired of it because it's been exposed that you devils are um, provoking these nations into this conflict and then playing victim like a fucking child. So. It says, uh, we're going to bring this out. So it says, seven top Hezbollah commander eliminated by Israeli airstrike as conflict escalates. The Israeli military said Sunday that it eliminated another high ranking Hezbollah official in an airstrike as a terrorist group in Lebanon reels from a string of devastating blows and the elimination of his longtime leader, Hassan Nasrallah. So they're continuing to target them. Okay continuing to target the Hezbollah a military chain of command okay which really obsolete at this point because it's clear that Amalek is targeting the leadership of the dragons of Arabia okay so here's so uh, I'm going to get another report on another leader they just took out recently all right this is uh it says Israeli forces take out head of HAMAS in southern Syria IDF announced Saturday morning that it eliminated the head of the HAMS uh, HAMAS terrorist network in southern Syria. The Israeli Air Force struck Ahmad Mohammed Fad, 
following intelligence conducted by the IDF. And speaking of intelligence, I'm going to bring that out. Um, I'm going to bring this out. Because I came out that I was intelligence that uh, the IDF had used to um, target that Hezbollah headquarters where uh, Hassan Nasrallah was meeting okay, the, the other Hezbollah uh, 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 leadership. I'm going to find that, that uh, information real quick. I don't write this uh, you know, so I'll bring that out. Um, see if I can find it real quick. Anyway, I'm not for the sake of time, I can worry about it, but it says uh, Israel eliminates another Lebanese leader. <laughs> All right. Uh, it says the Israelis have slain another leader of Hezbollah, the Lebanese political party announced Sunday. Nabil Kwaouk was announced to have been eliminated by Hezbollah's news channel, Al Manar. He was a commander of Hezbollah's preventive security unit and a member of the political party's central council. All right, so another another, another Lebanese leader they've taken out, man. That's like three or four leaders, Lebanese leaders they've taken out in, in like t uh, 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, man. Okay? Okay, and then this is the one that I want to really speak about. This one's major. Uh, Iran Revolutionary Guard General died in Israeli strike that eliminated Hezbollah leader. So they got a two for one deal, so to say, on behalf of Amalek through the IDF. You know, taking out their 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 most hated one of the most hated foes and adversaries in uh uh Nasrallah and this guy, cause uh back in 2000, Nasrallah led a a successful coalition to chase to to resist the Israelis out of Lebanon, so they they've hated Amalek has hated Nasrallah ever since then, okay, then they got but then they eliminate this guy, a prominent general in Iran's para, uh, paramilitary revolutionary guard died in an Israeli airstrike that eliminated Hezbollah leader Nas uh, Hassan Nasrallah and Beirut Iranian media reported Saturday so they're, they're taking these leaders apart man okay they're taking them apart Amalek is on a bloody rampage all right they care because I, I did an uh, update on this yesterday where they carried out like 140 different strikes man so when Bibi when Benjamin Melikowski the, Pol the Polish devil fraud was giving his speech they were targeting they, they were they were uh, uh targeting uh 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 nasrallah to further confirm that was all premeditated man so you're not on that further confirms you devil's not a, on on the defense you're on the offense it's very clear okay so uh go to go to go and end it off with a few precepts start off in the book of psalm chapter 10 and verse 4 okay Psalm chapter 10, verse 4. And it reads, The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High Yahweh. The Most High Yahweh is not at all in his thoughts because Esau has a God complex predicated off of Edomite supremacy, prophesied in 2 uh, Thessalonians 2 and 4, which is why he wants to afraid to play God on earth by implanting everyone with the MOTB uh, uh, um, grain and rice device. Okay? Verse 5 here says, His, his way is always grievous, Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. So he's puffing at all of his enemies. Okay, through his military industrial complex, through his uh, geopolitics. Okay, including these uh, 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 war, these war uh, uh, policies, including those that he rescinded from, like the JCPOA Iran nuclear deal, when that established peace with Iran. But who rescinded from that? Was it Iran? No, it was it was it was the Edomites through the Trump administration back in 2018. So who's really who's really uh who's really not pushing for peace? Okay. Um so it says uh verse six, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and in the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Okay? Because um, in this in this report, we're gonna bring this out here. 
it came out that uh you know they they they've uh they're not just targeting the leadership they're targeting they're targeting uh the civilians man okay as a form of uh uh ethnic cleansing if you will is it Fred is prophesied in Micah the second chapter and so forth this is because this is the mo of the devil so I'm just going to get into that I'm going to bring that out all right you know, I'm going to bring it out real quick. Uh, one second. Yeah, so this is... Um, let me go to jump down. The conflict between the Israelis and Hezbollah has escalated sharply in recent weeks with Israeli airstrikes on a tier group this week eliminating more than 700 people in Lebanon so not all of those are militants they're clearly targeting now that that further that that further that further exposes the hypocrisy of this devil because uh, 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 uh Daniel Hagari the IDF spokesman who said um our war is not with the Lebanese people our war is with Hezbollah okay so why okay so if that's the case <laughs> then then why does it say this okay why does it say this here in this, in this in this particular paragraph, see, Set, uh, and when I when I seen the update, it was eight hundred people. So who knows what it is now, man? You're not because you devil's not just targeting leadership. It's clear what the hell you're doing, man. Okay. So um. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this next precept, in the book of uh Micah, chapter two. Micah chapter two verse one. And it reads, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. The Esau has power in the earth through his sword. Okay? Yeah, how he says, speaks about Psalm 58 and 2, how he weighs violence uh, through his hands, through his sword, man, his blessing. Okay? Which is, his, which is, which, which is what his military industrial complex represents. Fred exposing who he is in the scriptures. For every nation has a biblical nationality. And that's why they want to outlaw the scriptures as a weapon. Because it is a spiritual weapon, but they want to they want to they want to demonize it as a as a you know as a carnal weapon okay to justify outlawing the scriptures because they can't they know they can't they can't fight spirit spirituality with carnality this is micah two and two and they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage okay they 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 uh infiltrate and invade these lands Okay, bring in usurping their Western authority uh, on behalf of their eating my supremacy, which is really death. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you know uh, which is, which is uh, 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 you know, you know, which, which is Fred exposes that they are the the, the man of sin and son of perdition. They are the 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 you know they are the men of sin and sons of perdition. This speaks about Second Thessalonians two and three. This is Saint Mark chapter three, verse twenty seven. And it reads, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. And who's a strong man in, in the case of these, you know, the, you know, these nations, their leadership. And they're they're being they're being they're being bound. Okay? They're being bound by the Western authority of, of, of uh, uh, Esau Edom's wine, his Western philosophy. Okay, on behalf of his military industrial complex, his geopolitics, his, you know what I'm saying? You know, all all uh, uh, justifying, you know, him usurping authority over these nations, including these uh, uh, the dragons of Arabia. Second Ezra fifteen twenty eight. Behold, a horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east. All right, as in Western Asia specifically. Okay, around the Euphrates River, around the Mediterranean Sea, around uh, the Suez Canal. All right, the Strait of Hormuz. You know, and so forth. The area, the biblical area of Yahweh Shapat in Jehovah the third chapter, where this last world's war is said to take place around these, so, uh, conveniently and ironically, around these so-called Muslim nations. Because biblical prophecy is screaming within these last days, man. That's going to that's gonna uh, uh, result in all 800 to 800 plus NATO military bases on behalf of America, okay, to be destroyed. And the source of their military industrial complex in America to be destroyed, okay, where, they're, where the adversaries of America, Babylon the Great, are going to shoot their nukes over here and, and destroy this place for being a sinful kingdom prophesying the scriptures man 
All right, could the could the Lord it musters has mustered the host of the battle in Isaiah the thirteenth chapter. Isaiah, it's so like it, Second Ezra fifteen and twenty nine, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and a multitude of them shall be carried as a wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. So the dragons of Arabia are banded together, man. Okay, they are banding together. All right, that's why uh, I'm going to bring this out. That's why the Fuck is this shit, man? Number fucking distractions, but um, anyway, um, you see, uh, yeah, that's why, you know, in that article, in this article here, I'm gonna bring it out. The uh, Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Al Sudani has said that uh, the Israelis had crossed all red lines through the elimination of Hassan Nasrallah. You see? So they're banding together. The dragons of Arabia. Because it's clear what you devils are doing. You see? You're targeting them. You're not on the defense. You're, uh, 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 by way of your, your military incursion of eliminating them, man. Um, yeah, so, hey. Anyway, so back in the precept... Say, uh, back in Second Edges 15 and uh, 30 says also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as a wild boars of the wood and with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians and the, and the mighty Carmanians are the Iranians so eventually they're going to stop hiding they're, they're going to be forced to come out swinging because you you, 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 you and Malachites and, you eat, and the rest of you Edomites are leaving them no choice man okay so rock because right now you know they're they're um You know, they, verse 31 says, And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature, and that they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power to persecute them. All right? So they don't have the upper hand right now because they're getting the ass handed to them by Amalek and the rest of them Edomites on behalf of NATO, you know, uh, down there, and especially at IDF. But the tides are turning because once they band together, then they're going to have the upper hand. Verse 32. And we, we, see that, we see that occurring now. By their mutual understanding that the common denominator of global oppression and affliction against their sovereignty are, are you damned devils. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 32. Then these shall be troubled, bled, and keep silence through their power and shall flee. And from the land of the Assyrians shall the enemy besiege them and consume some of them. And in their host shall be fear and dread and strife among their kings. Why? Because their kings are being targeted. You know, they're strong men. For the reference in St. Mark 3 and 27. See that? Who's behind this? Who, who's behind these war provocations? Sirach 12 and 16. It says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Because, you know, Esau's a bloody, uh, 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 he's a bloodshedder. You know, and that's, you know, and that's why this, this damn devil, uh, Daniel Hag Hagari, you know, was, was saying, um, that uh, Nasrallah was among the biggest uh, ever enemies of, of of the state of Israel, but he didn't he didn't say he and when when he justified why it, it was it was it was deceitful, as if Nasrallah was just targeting them to target them because he hates uh, the J Brews, the J E Ws, and that's 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 uh, Edomite uh, 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 that's the narratives that they spin in Esau Edom's Western uh, media, but it's really the contrary. You 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 hate them. Like it says in Isaiah 14 and 6. Okay. All right. And now that was a sentiment that uh Benjamin Melikowski was, was speaking about in the United Nations uh, uh council. Sirach 12 and 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. So if you see chaos in the in the, in the midst ensuing, you better you, you best believe Esau Edom is behind it, man. Just like he's been behind the, 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 the majority of these major wars. Through the Philippine Wars in the 19th century, the Seminole Wars, okay. Uh, uh, let alone the uh, the uh, 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 siege of Jerusalem, and the, you know the Punic Wars, okay. All right, uh, Vietnam, World War One, World War Two. That's why since 1776 of the within the independence of uh, 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 America from Britain, mother uh, the mother of America, these devils have been at war for a little over 90 percent of the time, man. Because they're bloodshedders. So you're not on defense, man. You're, you're, you're being exposed, okay, for your true, your true carnal nature, all right? 
Psalm chapter 55, verse 20 says, He had he had poured forth, it's like he had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. All right, covenant is like a truce or a treaty that you devils are known to break, just like you did with the so called natives of the tribe of Gad, of the lost tribes of Israel. You did the same thing with Iran through the JCPOA uh, uh, nuclear deal. Where you were sent it out of that. They didn't send out of it. You were sent it out of it, man. Because there shall, there shall be no peace to the wicked. Pursuant to Isaiah 48 and 22. Psalm 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war is in his heart. His words were softer than oil. Yet were they drawn swords. You're a double talker. You you, you advocate peace. But you but you really you, 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 you really imagine the contrary. Death and destruction. For all those who oppose your satanic uh, NWO regime. Okay. Psalm 55 and 22, cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Okay? I mean, you're not righteous, so you're going to be moved. All right? Because only the righteous is referring to the elect of the nation of Israel. That, that you know, that would be spared within the indignation uh, of the Lord's plagues in these last days, including the greatest of all plagues, you know, this great millstone, this, this, uh, this great destruction of America, Babylon the Great, the main place for captivity. Psalm 55 and 23, but thou, O power, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloody, deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. So in the midst of this last world's war, all right, the IDF will be destroyed. Uh, all six branches of America, Babylon, the Great's military will be destroyed, and all those who stand with her in this battle of Hammer God won. And we will, and, and, and the law to trust Israel will be redeemed by Hamashiach, Hawashai, our Lord and Savior and Redeemer, all right, within his paradigm shift of unrighteous, uh, uh, Unrighteous rulership to righteous rulership and we will be taken back to Jerusalem to rule this earth uh, 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 Forever in righteousness. So I'm gonna go end it off on that note Pray this epistles for the edifying his order to elect give all praises and glory infinite honor to my power The God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob who is God of living Yahweh by Shemesh Shai Barach Rosh And with that Ababa Ball soon and very soon Shalom to the elect and on to the, and, uh, uh, on to the next one